Hey, folks, how's everybody doing out there in the chat, in that premium chat? Oh, uh, we're going to get started in a little while here um, while we kind of hang out for a bit. Enjoy some tunes. We're resetting everything, getting ready for the next push on this Friday. This Friday. Thanks for joining us. It's been, uh, it's been a week. It's been a week for me. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of trials and tribulations. Doing relatively okay, though. Happy it's Friday. Happy it's Friday, though. You know? Happy it's Friday. For me, Friday. I'm happy. Ask me anything about anything while we sit here kind of uh, chilling out for uh, just a little bit. Well, again, uh, it's, like, uh, it's like you're at the theater. You're in the intermission now. Go get yourself a little popcorn. Get a little lunch. Uh, maybe I should uh, make a thing that says intermission. I don't stay tuned. I don't say stay tuned. If you're in the chat, chat with me. Come talk to me. I'll try and see. I'll do what I can do. See what I can do. See what I can answer here. Am I happy it's Friday? I'm happy it's Friday. Yeah, thank you. I am happy it's Friday. I'll wait for a little of this. Uh, Vinny, what's your favorite terminal? Um, okay, so I like a... I like a I, I, thanks, Ian. Um, what's my favorite terminal? I don't want to sound like a dork, but it, does cathode count? It's like that retro terminal I had on my Mac a while ago, and it made clicky sounds and faked having a, 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 a bubbled CRT and would have a glow. And I just kind of, I just kind of liked it. I just kind of liked it. Does that count? Uh, let's see some more questions here. Um, favorite woodworking tool: a chisel. Chisel will get you what you need to do. You can use a chisel for a lot of things. Best point-and-click adventure game. I'd say new one. The modern stuff. The uh, those Tales games. What the heck are they called? Uh, the unwritten unwritten tales. I think are fantastic modern ones. I think my probably one of my favorites of all time is probably Grim Fandango. I think that's a, a, a fantastic point-and-click adventure game that has broad appeal and uh, holds up. Grim Fandango. Um. Let's see. What else we got here? Do I miss Radio Shack? Says, uh, this hurts my head. Yes, I do. Uh, only because now if you buy electronic components, you have to buy them in bulk to make the shipping necessary. You can't just walk into a place or it's much harder to walk into a place and uh, and just buy like, uh, or f you know, who buys a resistor? But like five pack or 10 pack of resistors. Now, uh, especially with surface mounted stuff that comes on tape that you kind of unroll. I mean, you got to buy, you got to buy like 50 or so before it even becomes uh, worth your time to pay the shipping on it. So that's a bummer. Radio Shack used to have bins. You just pull out stuff and I don't know. Yeah, I get why it's not around. How far are you into the Malazan books? Any favorite characters? Uh, it says uh, Philip Seymour Hawkman. Nice. Nice. I like that. Um... I think I finished, I can't remember, I finished Dead House Gates, I'm either on book four or I finished book four, uh, and I cannot remember any favorite characters, uh, Pust, Zico Pust, is that his name? A kind of uh, uh, shadow emissary, uh, Pust, I, I can't remember, he's, he kind of is, is a little uh, cuckoo. Uh, goes back and forth. He's fun. The interactions he has with his uh, his, his uh, would-be wife, I think, are fun. Um, also, I like the guy that rolls around. Gosh, my memory now. I've, I've read a couple of books since then. Uh, the guy that with the tusks. Um, no, not the tu The guy that rolls around with the tusks. The, the He's a jack hut, but then uh, the guy that rolls around him, basically trying to keep him at bay. He has to keep knocking him out with his sword. I really like that guy, and I can't remember what his name is. Uh, if you know it, you can, you can put it in the chat. Uh, let's see any other questions here. Do I miss Shaq? Always miss Shaq. Uh, best tool album? Uh, probably, uh, yes, Undertow or Opiate. The Opiate? Is that the, the, the little one? The, there's, is that the album? Boy, it's been a while. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, any other questions in the chat here? Which MCU flick? Uh, boy, this scrolls fast. Have, uh, have you enjoyed most on a rewatch with your kids? Says the Doublegan. Uh, we've mostly we've done we did the three Iron Men. Uh, I think that um, what was it the house party protocol at the end of Iron Man three where the suits all come. The kids really like that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I think I might skip those like first Thor movies. I think those I think they're kind of a bummer. They're not fun. Let's just go right to Ragnarok. Um, 
Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to keep up with everything here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm, how do I feel about the Myst series of games from Silver Streak? Eh, all right. I think I have a real soft spot in my uh, heart for them because of um, of uh, uh, they, they were made in um, Supercard uh, or uh, what's the other one? Not Supercard. There's two of them. Um, Hypercard, and so I did work in there uh, in college and stuff, and used to. Everybody's like, "You can make miss, you can make miss, Supercard, Hypercard," and so they're, you know, I get it. It's fun. Oh, let's see, boy, a lot of questions here. Thanks for all the questions. Um, uh, what's my favorite chat speed, and why is it blisteringly fast? Thank you. Yes, it is very fast. Um, trying to keep up. Uh, favorite breakfast cereal mascot? Yeah, I was always a Tony the Tiger fan. I thought that guy was kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, never really loved the captain. Uh, the the uh, Rice Krispie guys kind of just seemed lame. Uh, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch guys seemed kind of lame. Is there like a burglar? The cinnamon, somebody trying to steal? I think it was a dog with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, Count, Count Chocula seemed okay. Frankenberry was alright. Um, uh, the, 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 Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs guy he seemed a little out there, maybe a little too wild for my taste. Uh, but Tony just seemed like uh, Tony seemed like a uh, Tony the Tiger seemed like a dude who grew up in uh, like you know New York and Brooklyn or something. Got a good gig with this uh, Frosted Flakes thing. Doesn't want to let it go. Uh, and uh, like someday would have like a hit on him from the mob because he's he's could never escape his roots. Uh, they got him that gig, and um, you know, I read. Uh, I was just reading some early Daredevil stuff, and uh, I think I'm imagining Tony the Tiger as Daredevil's dad. If anybody gets that reference, also I just read some good Marvel stuff. I read the uh, an Angel Origin series, which I love the art in it. Ah, it was good. It was like a, a five or six book series, uh, or like an origin story, and uh, everybody was a kind of very stylized. Um, uh, and like everybody was like stretched out and good, but I really liked it. He had like huge wings. Can't remember exactly what the series is called, but man, that was that was good. Um, uh, let's see. Sorry, trying to go through this some more, some more. Um, Angel as in Buffy? No, Angel uh, the Marvel uh, Marvel character. It's good. I'm sure. Wish I could remember exactly what the arc was. My memory is not that good, but it was but it was a cool series. Uh, who's my guy in Street Fighter? I was always uh, hey, guess what? I was always a Ryu or Ken. Uh, once in a while, I pop out a Guile, but um, I, I could never win that well. Um, let's see, more questions here. Favorite retailer? Favorite toy retailer? Um. Let's see. I buy a lot of stuff from Miniature Market um, for model stuff. Uh, I find that they usually have what I want in stock and uh, I get the group stuff together when I ship. And sometimes I'll put it together in order and then immediately realize I want to add one more thing to it. And they're usually pretty nice about adding something into an order to save on shipping. Um, let's see. What age did you learn? You're colorblind. Comes from GURP. Uh, and were you already into art? No, I was, uh, I was a little kid when I realized, uh, when the folks realized I was colorblind. Apparently, uh, I couldn't get the, the little plastic keys that are on a ring that babies play with. I couldn't get that. I uh, couldn't get those right. So I was a little kid. Um, uh, and then, uh, I had a painting teacher who said, um, a colorblind artist. So yeah, He's like, well, you're either gonna be a millionaire or this is gonna be real tough. Uh, so we'll see where that wound up. The jury's still out. Um, uh, sorry, I'm kind of juggling a couple of things here. Just give me a sec. Uh, one sec, folks. Uh, more questions. Let's see. Is there any edible transformer I would eat? 
Uh, big old Unicron. I need a big old Unicron. Why not? Too big. Bainbridge Gloomhaven starting class. You know, okay. I have uh, I spent so much money on Gloomhaven. I collected Gloomhaven. I think I still am collecting Gloomhaven because uh, I just bought the freaking insert for the expansion that came out. And I've played it. I, I'm not even going to call it a full session. I'm going to say a half a session uh, of Gloomhaven. And I just backed the new, uh, what was it, Frosthaven? Uh, the new one. I'm an idiot. I, I spent, uh I don't know. It's a love it in concept, but uh, I we when I got my brothers together, we went to go play it. We um, I think we just started the session too late. Don't start trying to play Gloomhaven for your first time at eleven o'clock at night. It's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. Um, favorite tabletop RPG. You know, I gotta say, I, I think I really like D and D five E. I've played a couple now. I'm not definitely not a, a blade. Uh, uh, I wouldn't even say I've played a lot, but I've played like six or seven. And I think I think I still just like going back to the fifth edition. Um, I, th I just kind of just kind of dig what's going on there. Um, so yeah, uh, some some stuff I think five E with its balance between the rules and improv stuff seemed like it's good enough for playing with people who uh, are need structure and some of those other games like fate and stuff i feel like are just not there's not enough structure there and it, it really depends on the group you can have a great time with a great group but if uh you know some people in the group just aren't into it and just want like what do i do next that could really fall apart Oof. um desert island album uh, there's a, there's a, I recommended this to Mike Mahoney a while ago, but, uh, one of my favorite jazz albums of all time is, uh, Nina Simone live at Mr. Kelly's. And I really love it. It's, I think it's a very heartfelt album and I can listen to it all the time. It really relaxes me. Uh, and there's this one part in, uh, she's doing a willow weep for me where it sounds like, uh, she knocks the music stand over or somebody knocks the music over and she has to improv for a little bit and it's very humanizing and I, I just really like it. She chuckles a little bit um, and she talks about how they're going to cut it out. And I just, I don't know, something about that part I really love. I love, I like jazz in general, but uh, there's something about that, that, that album, Live at Mr. Kelly's. Um, how did you get into playing the guitar? I've been playing for over 10 years now. Um, my dad played guitar at... Um, yeah, uh, at the church, uh, uh, not necessarily for the church, but uh, he would play at the, in the, the church band, you know. And then um, basically, he had guitars laying around. He played a lot of uh, uh, folk songs and stuff like that. And then uh, I kind of picked up the guitar when I was, you know, little, like 12, 10, or is it was 10, little. Uh, and then uh, got some like garage sale guitars and just kind of noodled around. Never took a lesson, just kind of had chord books and stuff like that. I wouldn't say I'm very good. I can noodle my way around. Uh, what's the last full album I listened to? Uh, it's probably it's probably Mozart Mozart's Requiem. Uh, uh, I will sometimes put that on when I'm just processing uh, videos and I will just put the album on. Uh, I, it's very hard to listen to stuff or I can't listen to stuff with a lot of lyrics when I'm, I'm working uh, and I put that on and I just uh, enjoy that. That counts. Giant Bomb Unplugged ever come back? I don't know. It's tough. It's a lot of work. You know, I listen to a lot of the Adventure Zone and always uh, always was amazed at all the work that Griffin had to put in and how they found the time to keep a campaign like that going. Uh, and in talking to Austin about it, who I think is one of the world's best DMs, that stuff is just a lot of work. And, and um, DMing is, is very tough, and you know, finding all that time in between everything is ex exceptionally hard. So, I'm not sure. Um, Favorite hangout spot at UB? Uh, I went, I stayed by the fine arts building a lot and there's like a lake right there and uh, would hang out around there. Uh, uh, Fargo dorms uh, is where I hung out a lot as well. And um, there was a bar by South campus that we used to go to uh, when we were all underage. So that's the university of Buffalo. All right. Hold on a sec. My phone is beeping. I don't know if we're ready to go yet. Nope. It's spam. Vinny, you should listen to Verity's Requiem. I have. 
I enjoy it. It's good. It's pounding. Verdi's Requiem goes. It, uh, boy, that's a, that's bombastic. I wonder if that's on, uh, let's see if they have, let's see if they have the Requiems on here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Requiem. Sometimes, um, sometimes Audio Network has. No. Okay. Well, let's play with these. What what these Requiem things are? Let's just play. This is a search for Requiem. I have no idea what it's going to be. Love it. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Okay. Oh, look at all these great questions. What's my go-to bagel order? My go-to my go-to bagel order is um, uh, an everything bagel with tuna, lettuce, tomato, and Swiss cheese uh, as a breakfast sandwich. But an everything bagel would be my, my bagel. Uh, boy, what else is going on? I kind of do dig this. It's got it's got like a real old like uh, <laughs> some Castlevania e about this. Um, let's see. Are you happy E3 got skipped this year because it's too much work? Says uh, Frankie Beans. Ah, uh, E3 got a lot mellower for us over time. So uh, uh, the, the work stuff for E3. Uh, over the years got much easier as we got more producers and uh, changed how the show we covered it and then how we covered the show so it, it wasn't as bad uh, as it's been in the early days the early days we, we, I would come home in tears literally um what was my first concert show I don't know maybe Primus maybe Metallica Huh. Like something at like Jones Beach. It's probably like Billy Joel. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to remember. Uh, favorite card game. Uh, boy, what's my favorite card game? <laughs> I really like Exploding Kittens. Is that uh, is that too corny? Uh, listen, I sometimes I just go mainstream. Uh, what's my favorite country? You visited uh, Italy. It was very good. Uh, I had a fantastic time. Uh, if anybody wants to see that Liverpool uh, thing I made with Ryan, that was just a fun trip. That's, I think it's one of my favorite work trips. Um, Nike or New Balance? I don't really do. I don't know about sneakers. I don't know. That's, I don't know New Balance seems all right. see a lot of questions here i'm trying to scroll they ever played ghost trick i sure did that game's rad ghost trick is good what's the hardest repair in a house that most people don't prepare for or think about uh hardest repair in a house that most people don't prepare for or think about uh boy i think um I think doing a really good patch up job on drywall seems easy, but it can be very hard uh, getting everything to uh, to not look bad in in all the lights, in the right kinds of light. I, I think doing a patch up job on drywall looks good, and then suddenly uh, the next day when it's noon and the lights coming in and you notice everything's all bumpy and terrible, it can be a real disappointment. Uh, let's see. Last order of dominoes. It's been a while. Definitely not since we had this the whole thing. Uh, do you want to join us in the Minecraft server and Discord? I sure would. I would love to. Is it time? Okay. Ben says it is time. Abby says it is time. Good question, Abby Russell. Good question. Okay. Let's do this. Sorry, folks, that's going to be it. Hopefully you got all your answers. This will not be archived.
looks old. Vinny, are you Vinny, muted? you may be muted. <laughs> You're not muted over here, though. They are muted over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, everyone over here heard it. So when when people sync it up later, it's all gonna make sense. It's like you get different pieces of the message. And okay, 